Huawei has always been an innovator when it comes to smartphone cameras, and this is a key part of what made the P series stand out. Although the P9 and P10 were not the first to incorporate dual cameras, they represented a significant step up for the tech at the time. Now with the P20 Pro, Huawei is pushing the envelope further by introducing us to the world's first triple lens camera, and it looks like it's going to be something special. I'm Adam Shinitsky from Android Authority, here to tell you all you need to know about the P20 Pro's Leica triple camera. Let's start off by actually explaining what we're looking at here, as there's a lot to take in. At the very top, we have an 8 megapixel telephoto lens with an f2.4 aperture and 52mm focal length, kitted out with optical image stabilisation technology. This is the sensor for all you bokeh fans out there, as the longer focal length will allow you to capture those perfect portrait shots. Nirav is looking very spiffing in this shot, for instance. The middle sensor, meanwhile, is a massive 40 megapixel RGB sensor with an f1.8 aperture and 28mm focal length. That's the highest megapixel count we've seen on a single smartphone camera since the heyday of the beefy Nokia Lumia 1020 way back in 2012. Finally, the bottom lens is a 20 megapixel monochrome shooter with an f1.6 aperture, which resides just below the dual module and sits almost flush to the rear of the phone. Much like the Mate 10, the P20 Pro features a four-way hybrid autofocus, comprising of laser, depth, contrast and phase detection. That wouldn't be possible without the device's array of sensors. So in the main module we have a laser transmitter and a laser receiver, while the flash module below includes a colour temperature sensor. Huawei says this sensor brings a new level of colour accuracy to the Pro's camera and is capable of differentiating between the colour of a subject's skin and the actual colour of the room they're in, for instance. So that's the hardware out of the way, but what's it actually like to use? Well, the first major boost is an improved low light performance. We already have a broad aperture range from f2.4 all the way down to f1.6, which should theoretically help to stop a lot of the visible noise and loss of detail in low light conditions. Huawei has gone a step further, however, and integrated an all new system for low light photography, which can fuse four pixels into a single larger pixel. That bumps the one micrometer pixel size on the RGB sensor up to two micrometers. The Pro also boasts the highest maximum ISO of any smartphone, capping out at an incredible 102,400. For some perspective, Apple and Samsung's most recent flagships offer a top ISO of 6,400, significantly less. Obviously, if you dial all of these settings up to the top, then you're inevitably going to miss out on the kind of detail and sharpness that you'd get under normal conditions. But it also means that the P20 Pro's bespoke night mode can capture an insane amount of light even in near-complete darkness. Huawei has also talked up the Pro's ability to take long exposure shots at night. Normally capturing stunning light trails requires some kind of tripod setup to steady the device, but Huawei says the P20 Pro is capable of taking handheld long exposure snaps for up to four seconds. This is thanks to some more AI trickery. Moving back into the light of day, the Leica triple camera's other headline feature is its five times hybrid zoom function. We've already seen manufacturers like Apple, Samsung and even OnePlus implement optical zoom by switching between RGB and telephoto lenses for two different zoom levels. Meanwhile, Huawei has previously stuck with a secondary monochrome sensor to enable two times hybrid zoom. Now though, it wants the best of both worlds by introducing that third telephoto lens while retaining the monochrome sensor. That results in three times optical zoom, which can be toggled via a circular zoom button in the camera app or by pinching the screen. Huawei isn't giving up on its hybrid zoom system from the Mate 10, however, and just in case 3 times optical zoom isn't enough, you can digitally magnify the image up to 5 times with another quick tap. Of course, only the telephoto lens has the hardware stabilisation, so you'd be forgiven for thinking that the magnified lenses are inevitably going to come out as a little blurry. In a bold claim, however, Huawei says that OIS is in fact largely unnecessary thanks to the Kirin 970 processor and its neural processing unit. As with the Mate 10 series, the dedicated on-device AI processing system powers a wide range of applications on the Pro, including what Huawei is calling AI image stabilisation. The system, dubbed AIS for short because companies love making up new acronyms which never stick around, is capable of capturing multiple scenes at once to remove noise and blur from the final shot. AIS is complemented by 4D predictive focus that actively tracks and predicts object motion. Rounding out the overall camera package is Huawei's usual camera modes, including 3D panorama, motion photos, and a fully kitted out pro mode with controls for ISO, white balance, exposure, shutter speed, and much more. Huawei's also added an interesting ultra snapshot feature, which lets you take a shot from the screen off in just 0.3 seconds to capture those fleeting moments without having to first unlock your device. 
There's also super slow motion video up to 960 frames per second and overall improvements to the scene detection feature on the Mate 10, which can automatically adjust your camera settings to best capture photos of food, animals, fireworks, greenery, and other specific objects. As you can probably tell by now, Huawei's put a lot of work into making the P20's camera the phone's standout feature. Will the world's first triple smartphone camera live up to the hype in the long run? We'll need to put the phone through its paces for a full review to know for sure, but the early signs are very promising for Huawei's new flagship. Until then, be sure to stay tuned to Android Authority by hitting the subscribe button and ringing the notification bell to make sure you don't miss out on the rest of our P20 coverage, because we are your source for all things Android.